Alright guys, just this is the last part for the modeling portion. So let's go ahead and hit let's go ahead and make this inner part here. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take this uh glass part, which might no, it's a good size. So let's just uh go ahead and press shift D to duplicate it, press P oops not P shift uh shift what Actually, we don't need to do anything. We just pressed how to go to edit mode because we didn't uh, <laughs> duplicate all the vertices in edit mode. So we'll just take it, select everything, press S, Shift X, scale it down pretty thin, right about there. And then we'll just go ahead and box like this and move it up to about the half point. Uh, right about there is good. And uh, there we have the the pushing rod there. Let's go ahead and bring this up just just in case. So now, you can go ahead and press Shift A, Add Mesh, Circle. 32 vertices is fine. Press Tab to go into end mode, but first press Alt G to clear the location. And then press R, Y, 90. And bring it over to right about there. Scale it down just a little bit. And then press E to extrude on the X, just right about there. You don't want it to be too long or thick or anything like that. So now, we'll go ahead and give it a Subdivision surface, two levels, smooth, and control N just to be sure. We'll do the same here, control N. Let's go ahead and uh, hide this just so we can see it. Ah, the ends aren't capped, and we don't have the, the menu here, but that's not a problem. All we have to do is select these, press E to uh, extrude, and then right click to cancel everything out, and press Alt M. Merge at center. Oops, that's weird. Hmm. Um, let's see if it works now. Oops, I'm doing a cursor. Sorry about that. And one more time over here. Press E to extrude. Alt M at center. Let's go ahead and add our edge loops as we need to. Control N. And there we have it. Uh, yeah, looks good. So now another thing we should do: press, uh, select this, press Shift D, tab to go into edit mode, bring this right about there, and then just drag it. And this will uh, this will be our our fluid that we're gonna assign a texture to. All right, so there we're done with the in in uh, interior modeling portion. So now all we have to do is tweak so let's just use the remain the remainder of our time to tweak stuff out so let's select this here uh, look, that looks pretty good we can go ahead and uh, bring this a little bit more along the X here uh, let's see let's try to make this a little bit closer to, to the design we can uh, go ahead and select this here plus X maybe make it a little thinner and longer like that that looks better. Uh, let's move this in some, as well as this. Okay. Maybe make this edge here. Scale it up a little, and bring it in on the X. And smooth it once. Okay. Uh, you don't need uh, you don't need two of these here, so let's just delete that edge loop. And then we'll make this bottom portion sharper. Okay. Now we don't actually have to join these uh, together because they they look fine how they are. You know, nobody. Uh, I don't think anybody will care that much because if you look here you can uh you can barely tell actually looking at it we should probably um thin this down here shift x again and then just uh we can select this as well here And then do 
Let's we'll get rid of all this in the selection here. We'll bring this back. And then uh, we can just take this. Let's just take both of these and press GX. So right about there. And then we can just uh, G. Let's go into top view here so we don't move on a wrong axis or something. Let's uh, rotate it. Hmm. Um. That's fine. Don't want to nitpick it too much. I'm going to scale this up a little bit. Maybe scale this part down. But uh, all in all, I think we have a nice, nice design here. Let's make sure everything here looks good. We might want to just uh, bring this part up here back a little bit. Just a little bit more. Might want to make this a little bit longer here. My x axis. That looks fine there. Oh. Oops. Uh, control E. Head slide this up some. Okay, that looks a little bit better. There we go. And, uh, Make sure this is nice here. Yeah, it is. It's fine. Okay, so let's uh, push Shift C, center everything. Um, I think we're done. Yeah. Okay, so I don't want to uh, join the modeling portions with the texturing portions. So in the upcoming parts, we'll worry about uh, the textures and the lighting. Alright guys, thanks for watching this tutorial.